well, he would be so proud and, and, and so happy for and not only Coach Mendel Beatty, but his athletes that uh, were here to help him through some tough times. Uh, he never looked back and worried about a win or a loss. His deal was to just be the best guy you could and, and let's help Cedarville get bigger and better and stronger. And I look back on it, as I said, we had two main buildings here, and I come back to see them today and see this camp, campus and everything. It's just, you, it just blows you away. It really does. What a wonderful job Michael Beatty did for Cedarville in his five years that, we, that he was here. I uh, found out today, I said, that they had 24 male athletes here in 46. And one semester he had 100 in the very next semester. And that was all Mendel Beatty, going out and beating the bushes. And that's what it takes to, to have good people to come into the school is go out and look for them. And I know that you do today because your quality of your kids here are just fabulous. And my wife and I, we love to come back to see them. It used to be a college, now it's a great university. Really is. Uh, I think it made me the person that I am today. I, uh, I wouldn't have had the college experience I had without my running, uh, without participation in athletics, and um, I certainly came to Cedarville to be a student, uh, and athletics was supposed to be secondary, and it, I, I had a consuming major, so it, it was sort of secondary, but um, I definitely uh, believe that my life wouldn't have been the same without participation in running at school at Cedarville. You know, it's a privilege. It's a privilege uh, to be to be named um, and, and to be a member of the Hall of Fame. Um, and my my preparation from Cedarville has served me so well. It's uh, I've been in the athletic and phys ed profession for 35 years, and the solid foundation was from my education at Cedarville. Uh, it was from the role models that I had. Uh, I've had had opportunities here with three uh, strong, intelligent women who all had PhDs, and that is uh, definitely a role model, which then it helped me to have the desire to go on for master's and PhD work. They all had different, certainly, approaches to teaching and coaching, yet each were so, so great in their own um, right. And so it just was such an important role model to have uh, other women in the profession. And so it's, it's a wonderful, it's been a wonderful day. Thank you very much. And it's, it's great for me to come back to see because I haven't been on the campus for a while. And so it's just great to come back and see people. And I'm looking forward to the alumni games and then the, the basketball games too. So it, it's just, you know, it's hard to say other than I really am, I feel privileged to have been uh, here. And I'm so thankful that God led me here to Cedarville as a student because that's what started my whole rest of life with professionally. So thank you very much. Coming to Cedarville was amazing for me, going to public school my whole life, actually being able to be part of a Christian atmosphere in both uh, sports and in uh, education. So that really gave me a good foundation for going off into the real world in nursing and in my life. And so uh, that Christmas atmosphere with the uh, chapels that we went to every day and then also in nursing being able to get that grounded faith as part of my nursing career that was pretty amazing to have a part of um, it's meant a lot to me in in sports as well as I have I've coached for one year but also just having that Chris, Christian friends as part of my um, my time here at Cedarville was amazing just to get to know those people and to have them encourage me in my Christian walk and also as I have gotten married and have my own kids to try and uh, give that also to my family and having that Christian atmosphere for my household and just that peace that Christ brings to us.